What do you say? Let's get started. I'd like to introduce the organizers of today's event, the president of NETO, Hiroshi Oikawa, and deputy director of GoBiz, Gia Brazil Vassin. Come on up. Through today's seminar, we are going to introduce the future of long duration energy storage LDES and the new battery technologies which can contribute to achieve a carbon neutral society, are mainly focusing on the result of our demonstration project we have completed recently in collaboration with GOBIS. Uh, NEDO is conducting projects not only in Japan but also or in other countries around the world. Uh, with Japanese technologies, we aim to contribute to the energy transition and the decarbonization. And here in San Diego, uh, we have demonstrated an LDES system using uh, vanadium redox flow batteries. Uh, we hope that uh, cooperation between California and, and the NATO, or U United States and Japan toward a carbon neutral society will be more deepened through these activities. So California is committed to combating climate change um, in a big way and improving local air quality. So we have numerous policy and funding efforts underway to advance this goal, but this alone will not get us there. Uh, we also need innovations and partnerships to bring the solutions to the ground and then to implement and scale those most promising technologies. So that's why uh, projects like this one, the redox flow battery and microgrid demonstration are particularly excited, exciting <laughs> as we think about um, how we more safely and more effectively capture and store our renewable growing energy production resources here. We've done analysis on what it's going to take to reach our clean grid goals. And what we found is that wind and solar rates need to nearly triple and battery storage needs to increase by eightfold. These are doable, these are achievable, but it's just going to take a major ramp up. And long duration energy storage is actually going to be a key piece of our energy storage solution. So I'm very grateful for the opportunity to join forces to develop advances in energy storage. Partnerships like the one that brought the Sumitomo plant vanadium redox flow battery storage product project to California is one such example. Ohio gozaimasu, uh, San Diego i yokoso. And I'm proud of the VRF battery, not only because it's the first utility scale battery of its kind to connect to the California ISO market, but also the role that it plays in supporting California's grid. And I think, you know, forums like this are so important for us to be able to share information, to be able to inspire each other, and to be able to push each other in order to advance the state of knowledge of long duration energy storage. Our redox flow battery system are very safe and environmentally friendly. It has a lifespan of more than 20 years and the electro electrolyte is reusable. It is our strategy to promote green transformation and contribute to the realization of a decarbonized society through the supply of our battery systems. Sumitomo Electric is committed to making a long-term contribution to green transformation and the U.S. society through our redox flow batteries. The presentation will be given by sdg and es manager Steve Persha and Sumitomo Electric Department Manager Tochikazu Shapata. <laughs> Uh, this slide shows the uh, principle of energy flow battery. Uh, as shown in this figure, a uh, flow battery consists of self stacks, electrolyte, tanks, and pumps and pipings. Uh, the uh, vanadium ion is used for the 
uh, active material. Uh, barium can become uh, the positive ions uh, with the balance of two plus and three plus and four plus and five plus. And uh, the <coughs> in charging process, the barium ion four plus change to V five in positive area, and the barium ion plus three. 3 plus change to 2 plus uh, in negative area. So the battery reaction only through the changing of the electron uh, between the ions and not to become uh, metal vanadium. So uh, electrolyte doesn't deteriorate. So uh, properties have many features, uh, long lifetime, design flexibility, fire safety, ease operation, and low life cycle cost. Uh, our systems are designed uh, to be used for more than 20 years. So 20 years of operation for that electrolyte is realized. So I believe uh, this is the only case uh, of battery component uh, that is used for 20 years in the all battery system around the world, I think. Uh, we wanted to showcase how microgrids are very beneficial or using uh, batteries for microgrids is very beneficial. This is because unlike generators, batteries can work as loads as well as generators. So if for whatever reason you're connecting to a circuit with high PV or high renewables on the circuit, there are times where the circuit can go, can go negative and that's where the battery begins to charge. So whenever that blue line there drops below that zero set point there, or the, sorry, the, the zero of the actual circuit in terms of load, the battery will then begin to charge. When it goes back above that line, it will begin to discharge. This particular battery is capable of being used for multi-purpose applications, working and in, in providing distribution benefits. The battery also has uh, great thermal capabilities. It's non-flammable, and it's a good use case for higher fi high fire threat districts. This only underscores the importance of Japan-US partnership and cooperation in building green energy future together. As uh, uh, President uh, Biden and Prime Minister Kishida have uh, uh, reaffirmed uh, many times that our joint efforts in the research and development and market develop deployment of sustainable technologies are top priority for both nations. So once again, congratulations again uh, to you all for the successful fly, uh, pilot project and best wishes for the great success in the coming works going forward and the future expansion of this technology uh, more use in the United States and uh, all over the world. It was informative and I think what really strikes me is the timing is perfect. I think that's a key, especially in our area, as you, as you see some of this trying to incorporate in high fire areas. So we want to make sure that it's safe for the public and for us as well.
最大の特徴は他の電池に比べて長寿命であることです電極ではなく電解液でのイオンの酸化還元反応を利用して中放電を行いますので電極や電解液の劣化が非常に少ないものとなっています電解液は半永久的に利用が可能でして寿命は重放電回数に依存しませんので重放電回数に制限がありません高い安全性です電解液は不燃性の水溶液を使用しておりまして他の設備も何年性の材料で構成されておりますですので発火リスクは極めて少ないものになっていますあとは設計自由度の高さです電解液の量で放電時間容量が決まりセルスタックの台数で出力が決まりますので時間容量と出力の独立設計が可能となりますデドックスフロー電池はその運用上重放電回数に制約がないという特徴を持っておりますので短周期の出力と長時間の電力量いずれの要求にも適しております市場が必要とする電力を供給するエネルギー市場と周波数調整などのアンシアリーサービス市場において複数の取引を柔軟に組み合わせて季節や時間帯に応じた最適な運用を検証した結果収益が大きく伸びることになりましてレドックスフロー電池の新たな価値を目指せたと思います。実際の配電網を使ってレドックスロー電池を電源としたマイクログリッドを形成しましたが実際の需要化を使っての試験でしたので SDG&E 社には万全の準備をしていただいて試験を行いましたこれは平常時には電力卸売市場で運用して災害時にはレジリエンス回復力を発揮するという併用運転を実施できたということで SDG&E 社からは高い性能を実証できたという評価をいただきました再生可能エネルギーの導入が加速していく中でレドックスロー電池の大きなポテンシャルを秘めています当社のレドックスロー電池は技術的に世界最高レベルという自負がありますので課題を一つ一つ解決し市場開発に貪欲に取り組んでいきたいと思いますレドックスロー電池の存在が再エネ導入を加速させて脱炭素社会へ貢献するものとなると信じています Oh, very nice. It's、uh, always exciting to see new technologies, especially considering storage and、uh, this uh, technology, technology is very interesting, especially considering the, the use case here in San, in San Diego and the, the, the time uh, also for, uh, for the, the, the batteries storage that uh, uh, are sourcing the, the energy. It's very interesting. So I liked about the new possibilities and new use cases for new technologies like the vanadium redox flow. And also,、uh, it's interesting to see the lifespan of the system. It's like a 25 years is the long lifespan for this kind of technology. It's really interesting to, to know that. The energy production of the world is the most important thing in the world. The energy production of the world is the most important thing in the world. The energy production of the world is the most important thing in the world. The energy production of the world is the most important thing in the world. The energy production of アメリカでのサプライチェーン構築や EPC との協業、電解液の地産地消といった体制を確立していきます。そして、世界最高の技術を結集した当社のレドフロー電池を活用し、持続可能な未来へ大きく貢献します。